Hello everyone, welcome to Animal Jam's First Library. Today in this video, I will be giving you pack run tips and tricks for getting lots of prizes and possibly an alpha item. So if you enjoy this video, please leave a like. And if you like the content we're giving, please subscribe. It really helps us out a lot and just makes my day. In this video, I will be teaching you pack run tips and tricks. I've always already said before, this is Cat from Animal Jam's First Library. I am the owner, and let's get started. First to know, there are two pack hideouts. One of them is the pack hideout, where just you and people in your pack can hang out. You can do runs here, and it's secluded from people who aren't in your pack. You could also do pack runs here, and it'll just be you and your friends. Another thing to be aware of is the alpha hideout, which you can do by visiting the other hideout. And it's I used this in the video today since more people were here, and credits to my friend I own 325 who was in the Master Workers pack. Please support them and don't put any hate towards them. Anyways, I will start the video now. This is a different part. This was previously. So this is my first run. Usually I will do it with more people than this, but I really just wanted to start and I was very eager to make this video, so I'm sorry. If you hear any other background noises, it's just, yeah. My microphone is also pretty bad since I don't really have a microphone and it's just coming out of my device. So, as you can see here, I've already gone super far from spawn, which is my first tip. Tip number one, go far from spawn because it will help you. You will get lots more and people won't really be in your way since they're all sticking to, you know, close to spawn. Also, you can get cool prizes from treasure chest such as spring pink green spring pink blue spring sorry spring green spring blue and spring pink crafting crystal you can also get so many items but you can find a list online and i get lots of prizes in this video i just got the cozy shoes and yeah these are only available for members so please be aware of that and if you're a non-member it'll just waste your time I also typically don't type in anything while I'm doing a run because it can waste my time and it can get me off track. It'll also, well, people can come along and just steal. Also, if people seem to be stealing your prizes, such as they disappear before you get to them, you click on them but they don't give anything, this is a glitch. Animal Jam is just really laggy and on your screen, you appear to be farther than that person, but on their screen, you are way behind them. It'll show you as you going first and them going last, but in reality, they could be far ahead of you. So another thing is, as you can see, I just delivered 106 ladybugs. Sorry, 104, but I do have two right now. Four. Seven. And another tip. Always like bulk up i'm not sure how to explain it just get a lot of rewards prizes ladybugs yeah those things also the map is different every season and it's not always going to be the same layout so you can't expect to go on the same path every time to get all the ladybugs you want it'll always be different and it's not going to be exactly like that as you can see here, this area is near spawn, but hasn't gotten all the prizes yet. And at that bar in the bottom right, we'll show you how many prizes you've gotten and how many you need left, if you can do the math. You'll also see your pack name and pack crest. My pack is not a running pack, so if you are in the Animal Jam's first library pack, you're not required to do runs. I just do them for fun and to waste time. But if you are in a running pack, your pack will probably expect you to do lots of runs and to get lots of prizes. But if you're not, and you just like doing prize runs, pack runs, to get prizes, that is totally fine and up to you. A lot of my friends are in pack run packs, <laughs> and they said that they have a lot of fun there. The community is awesome. And yeah, however, most running packs won't permit you to be in the alpha hideout to run with people. 
I'm not sure why this is, but I think it just has something to do with giving other people prizes and possible competitors. But please don't put any hate towards them, like I said already, because it can really hurt them, and you actually don't know why. Maybe it's just as I've already explained. In this pack run, there are lots more people. It's not just me and Io. It's people from other packs and packs I've never heard of. So, yeah, don't hate towards anyone else in the video or in any other packs besides yours. That's called discrimination, and it's not fun to discriminate on people. It's not fun for them either. As you can see, I just passed some ladybugs on the right. Tip three, don't always collect every single ladybug you see, because sometime, if you're doing it with more than one person, they're probably going to get it anyway. As you can see there, I messed up and someone got the prize before me. And don't be mad at anyone who seems to be stealing your ladybugs or your crabs or your valentines or whatever season it is. It doesn't matter and you can just go get more. And yeah, that's mostly all the tips I have. So let's do a small recap. Go far from spawn to get as many ladybugs as possible. Don't really type in chat because it can waste your time and prevent you from getting prizes. Always open the treasure chest if you are a member because you never know what you can find. You can get alpha items and other really good items too. There's a list online, but I'm not going to go through that in this video. You can always run at alpha pack hideout because you can get lots more people to help you and you can get a larger multiplier bonus also one thing i forgot to mention is boosting lots of running packs will do boosting in their pack hideout because it can give someone lots of time and lots of prizes to get all just by themselves and it won't be so bothersome how to do boosting is basically you and a number of other players can go into your pack hideout and one person well everyone will go into the pack run and then everyone will leave except for one person who will have all of those fireflies or beetles or ladybugs or whatever to collect all from themselves and it's pretty nice actually because no one can lag and steal your items also what i'm doing here is i'm going back to spawn and people usually will go their own ways, so they won't really come back here. But as you can see, I'll find a flower. Yep, right there. There's a flower that no one got. So you could just go around and spawn, because people always go their separate ways, and they might not catch a few things there. So that's mostly all I have for this video. Thank you. This was Animal Jam's first library, and out. Please subscribe if you like the video, and please like. Thank you.